Entering data into Excel can be very tedious for some people, navigating into several cells, entering data. But what if you are told you could enter data directly to Excel using a form like this? So that's what I'm going to do in this video. So you can enter uh, new files or new data into Excel by filling form. You can navigate through the, the various uh, data or rows within the same form. You can search, then you can delete and so on and so forth very nicely and um, no hassle at all. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. All right, so let's check it out. Okay, so here you can see what I've done. I mean, if you, some kind of validation, you can see that when I entered zero, it did not accept it because I've, I have um, made it to reject any number that is zero. So you can, also, like I said, you can search, you can enter new record, you can delete existing records, and so on and so forth. So let's see what I see. So you can see I'm deleting. So it's asking me if I'm going to delete. So all those kind of things that you would do on normal applications. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do in this video. So this is a blank. This is a blank uh, environment. You can see that just the headers that we have, or the column head. So what we'll do in order to insert, in order to work with tables, or work with forms, sorry. So what you do is you need to first convert this file or this uh, environment into a table. So what you do, you click around here. So in this list, click and yes, you press Control T. So once you press Control T, it gives you this kind of environment. So what you do need to do is to, uh, in my case, I will just I don't need that uh, formatting. Just remove the format. Click on that place, then remove it to be normal, uh, somehow normal like this, as you, can, as you can see. All right. So so remember, you press Control T to do that. So just fill in the various. Uh, um, just enter, let me enter a product ID on this one, PID01 on, under the product ID column. Then the other date, just fill in the other date like that. So here, the item uh, and all the other things like the unit, the unit cost, and all those ones, will enter it using the form. So in order to enter, the, create the form, go to click on that little uh, arrow, uh, down arrow there. Then once you click on it, it gives you this essay option. So look for command not in the ribbon like that or ribbon, depends on how you want to pronounce it. Then scroll down, it's in alphabetical order. Look for form, select it and, and look at this area. See that it's blank here now. So click on add. So it will be added to the right side. See that the form is being add, has been added. So if you look up here, look at that. See that it is now there. So click on it. It will show this kind of things. It will, be, it will populate the input fields based on what you currently have there. As you can see, so I have this um, item, just add iPhone 15 Pro Max, then the unit, then the unit cost and so on, enter it. So just press enter, once you press enter, it will accept it. So for that of uh, other date, same thing, once you have done that, press enter, then it will accept it. So like that, enter, so see that it has accepted it. So just fast forward the rest, so now, you can see that I have all the other ones right here, like that. All right, so see that I can navigate by clicking on the Find Next, then Find Previous, or Priv, which stands for Previous, so I can navigate back and forth like that. Okay, so I can click, if I want to enter a new uh, new record, I'll just click on New, like that. Then I can also uh, look for, uh, so it, for example, if you have entered new record, and you don't want to you say, ah, no, I shouldn't have entered. You just click on restore. It goes back. So to enter a new record, click on the new button there. So it gives you it gives you this blank page. Then you fill it accordingly based on the input field, uh, the, the label for the input field, as you can see here. Once you have done that, like I said, you click on or press enter your keyboard. So once you do that, I see that it is added to it, as you can see right here. Okay, so that's basically what you have from this uh, end. Then you can search. Okay, so then you can do, like I said, you can do search, then you can do things like uh, uh, validation. That's what I'm going to do on this one. So let's validate this, meaning that we don't want the system to accept records that we do not want. So highlight the area that you want to validate, this uh, area you want to validate like this. Click on data, as you can see here, then look for, look for this little icon there. Right? You have uh, data validation. Click on it, then select data validation. So it gives you something like this. So what you can see here is that you have so many, uh, you have three uh, uh, tabs here. So on that place, on this particular one, let it be whole number. Then here, select not equal to. So we don't want anything that is not equal to 
uh, that is equal to zero. So, so you enter the error message that will show even before the user click on that some kind of uh, a preview like that. So feed that one. So you say we don't want any record that is zero to be there. Okay. All right. So you select that. So you have options here. So you enter the error on the title that the title that will be. Then you can also select the error icon as you can see here. Then you enter the error message that you want the user to see. So as you can see, you see that it shows uh, error uh, ent entry error as you can see here. You can see that item cannot be zero. So if I change this uh, unit now to zero, so let me change that. So if I change it to zero, um, okay, let me change it to zero. So if I click on or press enter now, so you see that it's giving me this error that item uh, cannot be, uh, item unit cannot be zero. So as you can see right here. Okay, so if I enter a, a proper number, I said it accepts it. Okay, so that's basically what you have there. Then, um, of course, you can navigate, you can do other things like, then you can also delete. So as I want to delete this, see that it's showing me the, of course, I didn't do this, this is inbuilt, it's part of the design uh, by Excel or by Microsoft. Okay, so, um, so you have that. So you can see that then if, if you wanted to accept, I mean, to affect other one that you didn't get to other uh, rules. So what you do, just drag it down as you would normally do, just drag it down, then it will automatically pick the the settings, okay? So of course you cannot change the number to whatever it is you want. So this validation will also affect anything, any uh, call, any rules that you, you drag it to. Just as, so as you can see that I said I didn't accept it, so I also tried to enter zero. You can do other things like less than, greater than, all those kind of things. You can also put it there and then, uh, you see that it accepts it if it's done. They can search by using the greater than sign. So I'm searching for anything that is two. So you can search for other uh, items. So for example, now here, I'm finding anyone that is two. You can see that two, two. Then these two here, on that, you can see that one. So like here now, so if I'm searching for something that is, uh, uh, let's say, uh, equal to three. So you can see that anyone that is three will show forth like this. Okay, that didn't want anyone that unit is three basically cancel search with name and so on so if i come here to say i'm searching for anything that is greater than um that is greater than four so automatically it will show me five all right so you can see it here so that's basically what you have there all right so i hope this helps don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not done so already then like the video and share it see you in another video thank you